What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new HNN. Lots more to talk about today with news from both the DCEU and the Marvel Universe, so let's get down to business. First up, we'll talk about a surprising and spoilery reveal from Batman v Superman's Ultimate Edition, then a new Wonder Woman 75th anniversary logo with SDCC details, and finally, we'll talk a little bit about the future of Marvel video games. But first, we'll talk about that big reveal from Batman v Superman's Ultimate Edition coming to us by way of comicbook.com, and it does get a little spoilery, so click away if you don't want to know. And if everybody's ready, let's begin. So as we all know, at the end of BVS, there's the scene where Batman visits Lex in prison. In the theatrical version of the film, it was used to tease Justice League, but without that communion deleted scene in there, we didn't really know what Lex was talking about, but I digress. In the Ultimate Edition, though, Batman's conversation with Lex is a little bit longer, and it reveals some major, major things. First and foremost, that Lex knows Batman is Bruce Wayne, but when he reveals that, he kind of lets slip his plan to get away with everything he did in the movie by saying that no one would believe him because he's insane and unfit to stand trial. But that backfires because, secondly, the scene reveals where Lex ends up after the events of Batman v Superman and going forward into the near future for the DCEU. Batman comes back, with a comment about how we have places for the mentally ill in this country, and then just straight up comes out and says that he's arranged for Lex to be taken to Arkham Asylum. Yes, that Arkham Asylum, which hopefully we're going to be seeing next in Suicide Squad, and that potentially might lay the groundwork for a Jesse Eisenberg cameo in that movie. Regardless, let me know what you think about all that in the comments section below, and do you think we're going to be getting the Eisenberg cameo? And in our next story of the day, let's stick around in the DCEU and talk about the next DC film after Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman. Yep, Diana has her big 75th anniversary this year, the same year that we first got to see her on the big screen. And ahead of her own movie next year, DC has plenty of plans for the heroine this year. A ton of new merch, from books to box sets, shoes, coats, an exclusive Barbie doll, and especially a new 75th anniversary logo, which was exclusively unveiled by People magazine. And honestly, I think the logo looks incredible, I love it, but I'm also just kind of proud that Wonder Woman is getting the same kind of attention and reception on her 75th anniversary that other heroes like Batman and Superman got on theirs. And now she's on the big screen with them too, it's just, it's all coming together very, very nicely. But speaking of that, people also revealed something big about her solo movie. The film will have a presence at San Diego Comic-Con, where you can get your hands on that exclusive Barbie if you want, but they'll also have an exclusive panel about the film. And that's of course a pretty common thing, I mean big superhero movies getting panels at SDCC, but the bigger news is what it could mean, specifically that kind of seems like the perfect time to unveil your first trailer, doesn't it? So if that does come to pass, we'll definitely have a reaction up on the channel, but let me know in the comment section down below, comment question of the day, what's your favorite Wonder Woman moment? Let's get a good Diana appreciation thread going. And our last story of the day, let's talk a little bit about the Marvel Universe and video games. I was one of the many people just blown away at Insomniac's new PS4 Spider-Man game trailer that came out just a couple of days ago, and if you're like me, there's good news. There will definitely be more where that came from, according to Marvel's VP of Games, Jay Ong, in an exclusive interview with Polygon. The VP revealed that one of his big goals coming into Marvel was to right the ship in the gaming division, and the newly revealed Spider-Man game is just the first sign of many more things to come. But don't expect Marvel to be cranking out games left and right, because Ong revealed one of the things they're doing to try and increase the quality of the games they put out is being extremely selective in their partnerships. And the exact number he threw out was something like 1 in 10, like they only accept 1 in 10 opportunities they have to make a game. And honestly, being that selective with the kind of games you want to bring to market, but also the people that you want making those games, is definitely the best course of action. So let me know in the comment section down below, who do you want to see get their own game from Marvel after Spider-Man? But that wraps it up for today's H&N. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you liked what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day. And consider supporting us on Patreon for access to all sorts of exclusive goodies. And consider checking out our gaming channel, Press Play, where we're already live streaming over on Twitch. And we're working to get more content up on the YouTube side every single day as we speak. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.